Okay guys, I got my box. And here's my home air conditioning refill kit. Comes with gauges, stop leak, um, some R4 tin refrigerant, a line tap, everything I need to refill my window unit air conditioner in the grow room. Okay guys, we got it all unpacked. We got a little vial here filled with stop leak. Fuel install first. They sent me two different sizes. They call uh, line tap valves or bullet valves. These will go on your copper line on your window unit air conditioner. And uh, that's how you'll fill refill it you have two different sizes because you got different size hoses it comes with a thermometer there's the uh, dispenser with a little button on it you push the gauge uh, instructions And then I got another set of instructions here for, uh, I think that's for the stop leak. And it came, I think, with 20, 28 ounces of R410A refrigerant by Frosty Freeze. And that's it. $230. But this was, uh, I mainly was just paying for the instructions and all the parts I needed to do it the first time. So I've got like three air conditioners out there from the last few years. So that, uh, from now on I can just buy a bullet valve that I need. It's only like six, seven bucks. I already got the refill hose and uh, whatever adapters I might need for it. Because see, there's so many adapters and so many different size fittings, I didn't know what to buy. So I figured I'd just spend the extra money on the kit the first time. And then from now on, after this runs out, I can get a five pound can. And uh, it's way cheaper in the long run to buy a five pound can than it is to buy a small one. All right, I guess I'll read your instructions and uh, see if I can figure out how to do this. Golly. That's a mess, dude. You're going to have to clean that up. Okay, I got it cleaned up a little bit. And I took some sandpaper. Went and found the... Uh, the low side port tube, that would be the, the bigger of the two tubes. There's a smaller tube. It's the high pressure. This is the low pressure. And I took my bullet valve kit. It took the A2 for half inch, five eighths. This is half inch tubing. And uh, it comes with an insert like that. Because this is set for 5 8 For the half inch, I guess put this insert in. And just follow the instructions. And this will, uh, when you're done, when you hand tighten that down on your tubing, it will pierce a hole in the tubing. Then you got to check the weights. And uh, you'll have a refill access valve. One thing to note is to have this tilted so it doesn't hit the cover of your air conditioner when you put it back on. So make sure that clears. Cool, that was easy. It comes with this little... I'll turn the flash on. It comes with this little pin. You stick it over that knob right there. Then you screw the cap on, and it pierces a hole in the line. Oh, 
I gotta check the leaks. Okay, before I turn the unit on, our temperature is reading 80 degrees. Okay, this is my little vial of stop leak right here. This little tube. It's got a stop leak in it. I have to start the air conditioner and have it running full blast. And then I hook the gas tank up to the hose or up to the gauge right there. And hook this up to it. And give it a little blast and it only takes a second and it'll shoot that stop leak into the hose and then I'll start taking readings on the gauge and see where I'm at if it's in the green that's too low and I give it like five or ten second bursts until it settles down into the blue well that's weird I think it I think it sucked it in before I ever hooked any hoses up. The instructions were kind of weird, hard for me to follow there. It's talking about manifolds and I think a different set of gauges. So I don't know if I'm supposed to uh, hook that tank up and push it through or not. But I'm going to anyway. Okay, I hooked the other can up to it. And I just pressed it for a few seconds just to make sure it was empty. As you can see, it's very low. I've already pushed the button a couple of times. I have frosting the line over while I'm doing it. It's still in the green. giving it a burst for a couple of seconds. It's leaking out of my button. Oh, which by the way, you're supposed to wear gloves. Ow. Damn it. I don't think that's supposed to happen. But it is. Okay, I found me some leather gloves. I got her in the blue. I'm going to take it off because this button won't quit leaking. Concludes, ladies and gentlemen. It works. I've only had it on for a little while. It's about 90 degrees outside at 450 watts, 450 watts. There's 900 watts plus 200 watts. We got 1100 watts of uh, lights and a couple fans going on in here. So that's it. Recharged my first small window unit AC, 1200 BTUs. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a good one. Okay.